This is what a crash looks like. An oil market collapsed from $108 to $30 in just 18 months, to levels not seen since 2003. Where's the bottom? Morgan Stanley says $20. RBS says $16. Standard Chartered, $10. It's a boon for drivers. It acts as a tax break for consumers. But the force of the decline, so far, so fast, is destabilizing, bringing economic crisis to oil producers like Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, Russia, Nigeria, Iraq, pink slips for energy workers, and potential bankruptcy for oil companies. Four reasons why this is happening. First, OPEC won't cut production. The world's largest oil producers are holding out to see if other smaller producers will slow the pumps, hoping they can gain or keep their market share in the long run. But it's costing them billions. And Iran is about to start selling oil too. Second, China is spooking everyone. The world's second largest economy is slowing. It needs less fuel to run its economy. Emerging markets would need less as well. Third, the U.S. is producing more oil than ever, largely created by the American shale oil boom. And this plunge in prices hasn't shut out too many producers yet. And finally, the U.S. dollar is strong. Crude oil trades in dollars. That means when the dollar gets stronger, oil gets more expensive for overseas buyers. That hurts demand and drives prices down further.